Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Corpse Party. When we last left off, uh, we did some stuff, if anyone remembers, because I certainly don't. And then my computer broke, kind of, and now I, and then I had to do it all again. But now we're back here, finally. Uh, it's taken me three tries to do this video, if anyone knows uh, all the interesting things you need to be able to do to get DX Story to work in an efficient manner, i.e. making sure that 20 minute videos aren't 500 freaking gigabytes on your computer, you know what I just went through. Three times. Anyway, let's get on with it. So, um, in a rush, where when I was rushing to get to this point earlier, I forgot to pay attention to the text, and I accidentally yelled at Luca, Yuka earlier. Whenever you get the option between saying something mean and saying something uh, nice-ish. And I accidentally yelled at her, so what's about to happen is actually a little bit different. Huh? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's all that's different. Except for that. Um, yeah. There's a section of old newspaper on the floor. Read it. Yes. Unfortunately, we've read this before, so I'm going to summarize. The four children were killed. Brutal, shocking deaths of recent kidnaps, grade schoolers, large pair of sewing scissors were found near the guy who was found with them, and those were confirmed to be the weapon of use to make sure they died. Uh, the victims, one of them was killed because of her head was chopped up. Uh, children, blank, 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 all this stuff was starting to happen. We've read this one before. Uh, you should probably know what it says by now. Newspapers torn at this point, the bottom of the article is missing. Someone seems to have made notes in the margins of the article using a red pen. Friends killed by spirits of children. Law, purpose, spread of the curse, gathering. I don't know what this is supposed to stay like. I don't, I don't know what the pattern here is. But I'm assuming that if you looked at it in Japanese, it'd probably make more sense. Just saying. Children with no tongues. Girl with top of head missing. Girl in red dress. Child victim. Grudge. Shape. Gave shape to school building. Escape. Alright, so, anyway, onward. Oh man, that sounds familiar. Onward. Hey. Eep. Indeed, Yuka. The floor is stained with a sticky residue, as if something, or more likely someone, were dragged down the hall. I think that's. I think this is Kishinuma. From when he was dragged at the end of the chapter. I don't know. There's a metal tool of some sort lying on the ground here. Pick it up. Yep. Oh, goody. It's our friend the nail puller. Oh, boy. Yeah. And, uh, oof. Got a gross looking black stain. Actually, does this say anything? There's a large black stain on the wall. It looks almost organic, but it's not actually wet, and there's no indication as to how it got there. Alright then. That's actually cool. But yes, we've got our nail puller, and if we remember correctly, the boys' restroom was boarded up. 
So let's go ahead and do that because Luca needs to get to the bathroom. Wait. Yuka. Fucking Yuka. The boy. Okay. Use the nail puller to remove the boards. Yes. Bank. Yes. Yuka. Yes. Yes. We're gonna go with her this time though, just to just to be sure. Motherfucker. ない。苦しいよな。俺、外に出てるからさ。我慢できないなら、その辺でしたらどうだ。やだ。我慢する。そうか。無理するなよ。仕方ないこと There are literally no stalls. Why? Why? The school is just fucking with us now. But alright. Stand next to Big Brother, Luca. We're gonna learn how to use the urinal. Just just don't look at each other and we'll be fine, I think. I think this is a note telling telling you about the victim's memoirs. I'm not sure though. Or actually I am quite sure. <laughs> Like I said, I've had to do this chapter three times, or this part of the chapter three times, just getting this recording to work out. Oh, hello. Got dark suddenly. Oh, that doesn't look good. But hey, it's Morshige, and he's doing something questionable. Hooray, question mark. なんだ、これ。まさか人の見て見られないよね。多分それは人の粉砕した。胸部の肉が見えたから多分女性。嫌なものを見た。吐き気がするよ。とあ。とにかく無事でよかった。他のやつらにはあったか。いや。さっき気絶から覚めたばかりで。誰とも。そうか。こっちも妹の愉快以外誰も見ていない。じゃあ、眉にも合っていない。ああ。あいつはきっとどこかで。If anything, she's probably thinking the same thing everyone else in the school is thinking at this point. Oh, it hurts, it hurts. Uh, why did I have to die like that? Actually, does getting pulverized against the wall hurt? Or, I wonder if that was like instant death. That would probably be one of the better ways to go around here. どうするいや。別行動の方が他のやつとの遭遇率も上がるし。もう少し探してみるよ。わかった。じゃあ後で一の
見ないようにしようさあ行こうあの人<笑>行こう気のせいさ Daishobu da. Anyway, so, um. I think that remark about. or the, uh. what he said about Class 1A is actually supposed to be like a sly reminder that, hey, you still have the nail puller and there's something in Classroom 1A you need to get. Okay, I just, re I just noticed this recently. Keep your eye on the ghost kid up there, watch this. He fucking stands up. Oh, it's so creepy sometimes. I actually need to check something real quick. So, in this chapter, you're actually required to read two of the victim's memoirs in order to progress. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and skip the first one, because I'm pretty sure I read that one out, uh, out already, but I'm gonna go get the second one whenever I get to it. But I have to. I'm gonna cut. But I'm gonna cut past reading the first one though, because it's really out of the way. Anyway, this is what we needed the nail puller for now. Setting one of the shelves on the glass door is a kind of tiny key. Unfortunately, the cabinet seems to be locked. Use the nail puller you found to smash the glass. Yep, because we couldn't just use our shoe or something. No. Glass door is now in place. Pieces on the floor all around you. Acquired tiny key. Regrettably, the nail puller broke an impact as well. Seems its usefulness has come to an end. I don't actually know if we use the nail puller anymore for the rest of the game, which saddens me because the nail puller is my friend. Much like the pea bucket, and not like the rusted bucket. So yeah, the first victim memoir is up there, but it's really annoying to get to, so I'll cut back to when I'm on my way back this direction. Okay? Okay. Alright. It didn't take but a couple seconds, but, you know, it's just kind of something that's out of the way, and I didn't really want to... But anyway, yes, like I said, um, we actually need to read the second part of the victim's memoir, because if we don't, we won't progress, and you'll end up spending ten extra minutes on a recording session wandering around not knowing what to do, and then leaving your recording uh, going while tr looking up a game fact wiki or something like that because that happened to me and it wasn't fun especially considering I thought I knew this game better than that but anyway here's the second victim's memoir which I'm not sure I've read yet so victim memoir two out of five I'm so cold I feel like the heat is just oozing out of my body bit by bit and then there's that sound that just won't stop what is it my ears hurt and can't focus on anything I feel like there's a thin film surrounding my entire brain. I found a dying message next to one of the corpses earlier. It said there's a hallway somewhere in here that changes its size, appearing longer or shorter, pretty much on a whim. I wonder where it is. I hate that I don't feel anything when I see a human body anymore. It sickens me. And that bang was what you pretty much expect it to be at this point. Uh, that hallway that the that the men uh, note mentioned, because without reading that note, we wouldn't know that this hallway could grow, and then it wouldn't have for some reason. Indeed, indeed it did. So anyway, yep, here's the hallway, just like I said. Uh, the body of a female student attached to her breast pocket is a white student ID name tag. Musashigawa's Girls High School, Class 2-3, Mika Naruse. Poor girl. Anyway, here's where we use the tiny key. The tiny key seems to fit the lock perfectly. Use it. Yep. And it's raining outside. It's going to get very loud. Or just annoying. It's not really that much louder. It's cold as death.
大丈夫か別館にも職員用とかのトイレがあればいいんだからこの柵を越えれば放射台に出られそうだなだがなんだこの見渡す限りの樹海は校舎の外周をぐるっと囲んでいるようだなとにかくまずはこいつを何とかしてやらないとよし、行こう。よし。to the second wing。ブップ。なんだこの校舎。空気がちゃんと重いぞ。何が止まらないここは長いするとやばそうだなゆかお前外で待ってるか向こうの校舎の方がまだ安全な感じがするぞやだ一緒に行く取りに来ないで仕方ないか分かったよ心配するな一緒にいるから So that message kind of freaked me out the first time I ever came in here. I thought you were timed invisibly, but not really. You can you can be in here as long as you want. I'm gonna save her quick. It's funny I use save states to to keep myself where I am for the next recording and stuff, but I can still save, and I can still see where my save points are. And even if I load state to a previous state, my save points of the future states are still there. It's kind of weird. Anyway, what do you say? Note. Two. That's probably code or something. I want to go this way. Hello, door. Oh, you just. Okay, well, we'll just go in here. Oh, God. Well, for fuck's sake. Come on, Luca. Yuka. Fuck, I keep calling her Luca. I've been playing too much Project Diva. Hatsune Miku Project Diva. Uh, yeah, okay. Did anyone play that game before? Hatsune Miku Project Diva F? I know I did a video on it and uh, had a lot of fun with that, but I seriously love that game. Female student's corpse lies sprawled on the floor. There are a couple scraps of paper from a letter sent gently resting on top her bony hand. Luck is fickle, but I still have faith in it. That good luck charm. I know it's stupid, but I truly believe it works. So I know I'll see you again, Mal. And if anyone else finds this letter, please wish her good luck for me. Kiori Kimura, class 2-4, Luxurna High. Poor Kamori. Kimura? I don't know. Whatever her name was. Okay, so we got a staircase. I uh, wonder what's at the top. Let's let's go to the top. Anything interesting at the top? There's a, a door. 3F, principal's office. No entry permitted. Fuck. Well, I guess we're not going in there. Based on the size, these appear to be the remains of a senior high school student. Seisei Academy for Girls, Class 2-3, Kaito Fujiwara, Koito. Well, alright then. So, oh, whoop. This way, I think. Oh, Jesus. Girls' lavatory. No one authorized teasing or trickery. Anyone caught horsing around will be severely punished. I was unaware you could authorize teasing or trickery. But damn, we can't even get close to the girls' restroom, let alone get in it. 
kind of freaking sucks, but you know. Oh, look, another note. One. Oh, dear. Yep, that's useful. What about you? Heavenly House Elementary School. Notice of school closure. 10-18-1975. Damn, this place is old. Due to the reputation earned from retreat... Let's try again. Due to the repeated earn, reputation earned from the repeated tragic incidents and accidents in and around the school, plans for its abolition have been finalized. There has been a sharp decline in registration and attendance since the initial incidents, indicating that the school board that our time is at an end. We sincerely regret to announce that Heavenly Host Elementary School will close its doors for the last time on November the 18th, 1975. It is through my own vices that this disdainful decision has come to pass, and for that I must offer my deepest apologies to all who are affected. Filed to all teaching staff, Heavenly Host Elementary School, Principal Takamine Yanagi Hori. Poor guy. That's, that's gotta suck to close down your baby. Uh. Anyway, uh, um... Right, uh, oh shit, there's a lot up there. Okay, well, standing next to this oozing pile of faces, I think that's a good way to end this video. I'm gone for like 20, 22 minutes, so I will see you all in the next part where I promise I will stop calling Yuka Luka, which I, I hope anyway. I'll see you in the next part. Goodbye.